What's up guys, welcome to Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about Wi-Fi 6, generation 6. What it is, how you can get it, how this will improve your internet experience, I'm talking about gaming, I'm talking about the, about the workflow, how much that costs and why you should care, let's find out. Wi-Fi Wi-Fi wireless network protocol is with us for more than 20 years. I remember in 90s they were trying to do that for the very first time. Wikipedia says that it was even earlier, but that doesn't matter. The point is the Wi-Fi has changed over the last years and the Wi-Fi 6 is the biggest improvement we ever seen. I will tell you straight away, this video is especially for someone who's living in the household full of people or the household full of devices that they are connected to internet so if you are one of those if you are living in a house with a big family you have a brother sister your parents are using internet you want to game they want to stream the uh, videos they want to download some data this is for you for those who sees uh, all the time buffering cycle if when you try to watch something this is for you and for those who try to talk through the skype or uh, team meetings and you have a problem with connection and you yell at everybody at home disconnect from the internet because i cannot talk i cannot do my job i, I'm, I have an interview or i have a important meeting this is for you as well Wi-Fi 6 generation is with us from 2019 but like everything else first things new are very expensive so no one was really interested then we know what happened the whole world struggles till now with this with this crazy stuff that they are going on so no one really pay attention about the Wi-Fi 6 generation so I want to talk about this because this needs a proper introduction in this video, I'm gonna talk about the best upgrade you can do inside your house with a new internet using Wi-Fi 6. The funny thing about this upgrade is it's extremely cheap. You have no idea. I made this upgrade in my house. I upgraded my internet connection for only 50 quid. 50 quid and uh, I've noticed on the US market you can do the same with a $50. So for 50 freaking quid you can change experience for all the users around the house. For a moment I want to talk about what is the difference between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5, which probably everybody has at, at this moment. There was many generations of Wi-Fi, but I will focus on Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 5 is with us from 2013 and uh, is also known as 80211AC and Wi-Fi 6 is, uh, is, has a very similar name but instead of AC we have AX so there was a six years gap between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 so what kind of advantages we can have right now first of all it's faster what kind of exactly speeds you can expect I will, I will show you here but this is not the thing I'm, I want to talk about. There are many other features they are more interested than just the speed. Wi-Fi 5 was using configuration called 4x4. That means he could uh, connect in the same time with four different devices without delays. The old generation of Wi-Fi was using a little bit different kind of, con of configuration. So if you had many users and they had different devices, so the communication between them was, uh, was working like this. All those devices, they were sending requests to gather some information, but the router was able to only reply to one by one. So first he replied to first one, then to second one, then to third and so on. Later on with uh, different generations that improved. And most of the routers these days, they can do requests up to four devices in the same time that improves latency times, ping, and other good stuff that you're looking for. Wi-Fi 6 generation is working in con configuration called 8 to 8, which means he can do requests up to eight devices in the same time. But here I must mention something. 
everything happens so fast that normal user will not even notice any difference so if you jump from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 you might not see any kind of improvements I will tell you why this is happening so when you're browsing the internet just looking at the pictures or some articles and a few other users doing the same in, in your local network none of you will notice any difference but the situation changes when for example you are gaming and you're playing one of those games like call of duty your brother is watching telly 4k streaming your mom she's working on the computer and she's uh, on on the skype or video call meeting then you will see difference with old generation you will all struggle your game will be lagging your brother will watch a movie with a buffering circle and your mom will be shouting disconnect from the internet because I have an important meeting. In this scenario, you will all notice big difference. I think this is enough only to change your mind and go to the store and buy one of the devices like this right now. But there is much more. Another two brilliant features I want to talk is first one is a multi-user MIMA and the second one is a OFDMA technology. The simplest way to explain this is probably you've noticed that these days most of the routers has many antennas. This is for a reason. With the new techniques like uh, multi-user MIMO and the second one OFDMA, the router can split data across different frequency. The frequency that routers are using is between 20 to 160 megahertz. Imagine that you are on the highway and you have many lanes and you are on the one lane only. So most of the time it's, it's all right, you drive in your lane, the speed you want, but every now and then you will have an obstacle. So in ideal world, you wanna go to different lane, pass that obstacle and carry on your journey. Wi-Fi 6 is acting like a professional driver, he can choose the lane as he pleased. So this is massive difference. Especially this is important if you're living in the flat building and you have a lot of devices around you, so your network is occupied. Your neighbor has a one ISP provider, you have another one, another neighbor, another one, and, and so on. So let's say you are on the frequency, let's say 80 megahertz, but your neighbor is as well and the other neighbors might use also the same. And this is a problem. And you will be on this highway and this highway is, is occupied and you need to wait till the traffic is gone. So as you can imagine, this is giving you better latency. You don't have to wait so long. So if you're a gamer, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're working from home and you're expecting the best connection you can have, you should start thinking about, about this. Another feature that is maybe more important for laptop users or tablets uh, is a um, better power management system. It's called Target Woke Up Time. This feature will help you save some energy on your Wi-Fi card previous generations they were acting like okay you had a wi-fi connection you wasn't doing anything but your wi-fi card was constantly looking for some information it's like two people talking do you have something for me no nothing what about now still nothing with this new technology your wi-fi card has better ability to go to the power saving mode so what exactly I've done and what you can do is this. First of all, you need a router like this. I'm living in England and I have an internet provider from Virgin company and they gave me router, it's called Hub3. So your choice is this. You could ask your ISP provider, could you provide me with a new router, with a new Wi-Fi 6 technology generation or you can buy something like this and act like an access point. So idea is this. In my case, my hub free original router, it's working now in the so-called modern mode. And from now on, with only using one cable, you're connecting your original router with this device. And this device will split 
internet connection to all of your devices. So from now on, this device is your Wi-Fi connection and also to this device you will connect all the LAN cables. Configuration is very simple. There is a plenty of information on the internet how to do that or simply you can just open the manual and have a look. But before you start using Wi-Fi new generation 6 with the full potential, I need to mention something. Having router with this symbol is only one step. You need to make sure that all of your devices, I'm talking about cell phones, about the computers, about the laptops, they all have to have Wi-Fi 6 network adapters. If they don't have it, you need to go to the store and look for something called 802.11ax. So you're looking for this. That AX means that will will be compatible with this newest generation. But it's not necessary. It's only if you want to use all of those features I just mentioned. This device is compatible with the previous generation. So, so internet will work. But if you want to take the full advantage of this, you need to replace also network cards. There is a big chance that you already have them. When you have, um, let's say, a new iPhone or, uh, or you bought laptop recently, there is a big chance you already have Wi-Fi 6. So you need to have a look in the settings, you, have a, you, need, to have a, you need to have a look at the spec. Maybe you are covered already. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you make your decision. I think this is the most beneficial upgrade you can do in this year, probably 2021. For only a fraction of money, you can change whole experience for your whole household. Yes, yeah, so yeah, your kids, uh, I don't know, your wife or, uh, or maybe even your grandma, they all will be pleased. Thank you for watching and again if you found that uh, video interesting consider subscribing don't forget to smash that like button only if you want and i will see you next time thank you